church, I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus. Please may I ask you to rise in the house of God. Welcome to this beautiful Sunday service. This is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's just to lift our hands and surrender ourselves to the Lord Almighty this morning. Father, we worship you. Father, we honor you. We give you glory. We give you praise and we give you all honor, O oh God. This morning, O oh God, we just surrender unto you, King of Kings. We surrender unto you, O oh God Almighty. And this morning, we just say, have your way in this place and receive our worship this morning, O oh God. We worship you this morning, O oh God. We honor you, King of Kings. We worship you.
and I will now be silent. I will always worship you, Lord. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you, and I will not be. And I I will always I will always As long as I Hallelujah. If you're here to worship God, if you're here to praise God, if you're here to exalt God, if you're here to glorify God, I want to hear a clap offering this morning. If you're here to praise God, if you're here to worship God, if you're here to exalt God, I want to hear a clap offering this morning. I don't think you heard in the first service. If you are here to praise God, if you are here to worship God, if you're here to exalt God, I want to hear a clap offering. Come on. Greater one lives inside of me. His name is Jesus. I'm on the window. I'm on the window. Oh, I'm victorious. Oh, I'm victorious. I'm the head of his kingdom. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Come on. I'm going. 
shall never prosper. The greater one. His name is Jesus. I'm born a winner. More than victorious. I'm ahead of the kingdom. Filled with the Holy Ghost. Rejoice in me. Rejoice in me. Rejoice in me. More than a conqueror. Rejoice. something to you guys this is a prophetic house hallelujah whatever you speak manifests amen so if you say that I am more than a conqueror you are more than a conqueror if you say that you are more than victorious the situation that you are currently in the main reason why you are here will listen to whatever you are saying hallelujah and you will be more than a victorious I want you to believe it whatever you speak manifests hallelujah are you guys ready more than a conqueror more than a conqueror more than a conqueror more than a conqueror i'm more than victorious i'm more than victorious i'm more than Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. How many of us know that this morning victory is ours? If you believe that victory is yours, I want to hear a cap offering this morning. If you know for sure that victory is yours this morning, hallelujah, I want to hear a cap offering. Come on.
all my life I praise you Everything that I have now you gave to me, Papa Lord, your grace for my love I'm grateful Just so you love me, Brenda, you came to die for me Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi I am that I am the great provider I search around, there's no one else like you The line of Judah, you're the mighty battle battle He has given me victory He has given me victory He has given me victory Let's pick up the tempo a bit. Come on. One, two, one, two. my life I praise you everything that I have now you great to me Papa Lord you're great for my love I'm grateful just so you love me plenty you came to die for me Jehovah Rapha Jehovah Nisi I am that I am the great provider I search around there's no one else like you Line of Judah, you're the mighty battle bow. Yeah. He has given me victory. He has given me victory. He has given me victory. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He's taken away my fires and now I'm free. Anana para luya para Makers of Jesus every day na shaka da de do Double the double the heavenly blessings na in my day we see Ah yeah God in your great is always a He has given me victory He has given me victory He has given me victory Because of Jesus every day now shaka da de do Double the double the heavenly blessings that we see ah, yeah. God in your grace and mercy always He has given me victory 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 Hallelujah, 
Lua, lua, lua Lua, yasu, lua 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 Lua, lua, lua
Yes, Lord. Can I see winners in the house? Oh, yeah. If you know that you are a winner, just wait. Declare it. Just declare it. We are in the house where whatever you declare, it shall come to pass. I am a winner through the blood of the Lamb. I am a winner through the blood of the Lamb. And the devil is defeated. I am a winner through Christ. I am a winner through the blood. I'm a winner through the blood of the Lamb. And the devil is defeated. I am a winner. I'm a winner through the blood of the Lamb and the devil is defeated. I'm a winner. Just like David defeated Goliath, I'm not afraid. I'm more than a conqueror, so I walk through. The valley of shadow, I am a winner through Christ the Lord. For he knows the plans he has for me, plans to prosper a better future. No weapon formed against me that shall prosper in Jesus' name. I am. Through the blood, yeah. I'm a weed. Through the blood of the Lamb, and the devil is defeated. I am a weed. Oh, I am a weed. Through the blood, yeah. I'm a weed. Through the blood of the Lamb, and the devil. Just like David defeated Goliath, I'm not afraid. I'm more than a conqueror, though I walk through the valley of shadow. I am a winner through Christ alone. For he knows the plans he has for me, plans to prosper a better future. No weapon formed against me that shall prosper in Jesus' name. I am through the blood, yeah. I'm a weed. Through the blood of the Lamb and the devil is defeated. I am a winner. to be found the king of kings is always closer I say no 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 the devil is a liar he comes I say devil is a liar he comes I say, devil. 
Devil is a liar. Just give your neighbor a high five. A virtual half five, of course. About a war on me. I don't know about you. Hey! Victory is here. Come on. Keep defeat out the door. Get to win a new thing. Yeah. Are you ready for overflow? Cause I'm getting ready. Come on, declare it. I'm gonna read it. God's about to pour on me something I've never. I'm gonna read something I've never. Somebody declare it. I'm gonna read something I've never seen. Come on, let's take to the top. Lift your feet up. 
the cloud kicked him. Kick out the cloud.
beloved, what an exciting moment. What an electrifying atmosphere. We welcome each and every single one of you. This is the celebration service. Whether you are on site or online, you are very welcome to Alleluia Ministries International. Those who are joining us online, whether it is YouTube that you are joining us from, Facebook, Instagram, Periscope, it really, really doesn't matter. Even if you are watching us through our 24 7 television channel that is AMI TV, we welcome you in this place. I can assure you that what is about to take place here, what we are getting ready for, it will reach you regardless of where you are. What you just need to do, if you are on the social media platforms, just make sure you share. They say sharing is caring. And if you are watching us via YouTube, go an extra step, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you never miss out on any new content that gets uploaded. Hallelujah. Now this is the celebration service. Amen. We have every reason to celebrate Jesus for God is in this place. Hallelujah. Now, I just said we have every reason to celebrate God, right? Now we have every reason celebrating for the man of God that he has given us. Yes. I want to take this opportunity to just honor the general overseer of Hallelujah Ministries International, the great apostle Alf Lukau. Yes. Daddy, I love you, I appreciate you, and together for life we shall remain. Amen. My brother, we're not just a blessed house. We, we, we have double the blessing. We have a blessing in our men of God. And we have a blessing in the woman that God has chosen, selected, anointed, and placed right by the side of our men of God. And that is none other than the gracious Bishop Celeste Lukau. I'm talking about a woman that is beautiful inside out. I'm talking about a prayer warrior. I keep telling you, you see, mommy, oh, calm. She's a quiet storm. Don't mess with, with your spiritual uh, sons and daughters. If you touch one of them, you shall see the storm indeed. That is the kind of mother that we have. Let us put our hands together for Bishop Celeste Lukau. Indeed, we love her. Now, normally I'll ask you to sit down, but I want you to remain standing. Yes. And with the same energy, I want to talk about big God, big things. Yes. In less than two weeks' time, it's happening. The God of Hallelujah Ministries has called for a divine appointment, and he will definitely show up. Now, we're expecting 10,000 people. Remember, you need to be part of those 10,000. Amen. Amen. Now, if you want something to change in your life, make your way to Paris on the 28th of October. For the God of Alf Lukau will be manifesting and showing big things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Big God, big things. Remember, beloved, though this is a free event to us, we, we, we serve God in excellence in this house. So we want to make sure that there's a ticketing system that is in place. That has already been done. All that you need to do is make sure that you register. Registration is just to make sure that you don't rock up and you are number 10,001 and we ain't got a seat for you. So if you register, then we can make sure that we are able to cater for you and you don't just witness what God is doing from the outside, that you are inside the pool. It is now time for announcements. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau live daily for the Rise of the Prophetic Voice, where the Word of God goes deeper into the Word of God from 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Central African Time. This will exclude Fridays and Sundays. Pastor Alf Lukau will also be live daily. This will be Let's Pray, a powerful moment of prayer with Pastor Alf Lukau from 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central African Time. You can follow our man of God on his Facebook page, Alf Lukau. On Instagram, still Alf Lukau. And on Twitter, the handle is at Alf Lukau. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pastor Alf Lukau. Don't forget to click on the bell for notifications on our live services and new videos. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau on these following TV stations. Faith World TV in the United Kingdom, broadcasting both online and on Sky Channel 589, every Saturdays from 7am until 7.30am. 
pastor of Lukau is now on Soweto TV, channel 251, every Sunday evenings from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. We also have our own 24-7 TV channel, AMI TV, on the public bouquet, airing all over Africa and Europe 365 days a year. For settings, please visit the website at www.alleluiaministries.com. Our service times are as follows. We have our teaching and healing service every Friday from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. You are invited to come and fellowship with us every Sunday. Join us for our morning glory service, which starts from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m., followed by our celebration service, which starts from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m., and lastly, our Holy Ghost service from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. Alleluia Ministries International is not a church of members, but a church of disciples. We have home sales held Wednesday evenings from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. If you don't belong to any home sale, please either call the office or go to the home sell desk in the foyer on a Sunday. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alleluia Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser. Type in www.alleluiaministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's welcome page. Select the tab written Online Giving where you will find our three different payment options namely PayPal, NetBank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon, which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option Donate with PayPal or Donate with Credit Card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information, and finally click on Donate Now. For payments into our NetBank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our NetBank details are as follows. Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692. Branch code, 197005. Swift code, NEDSZAJJ. Use your name and surname as reference, or use the purpose of your payment as reference. For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation, or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card, fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options, and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time, and may God bless you as you send forth your seed. Beloved, it is time for our offering. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's offering time. 
I can't hear you, AMI. It's offering time. And blessing time is offering time. Hallelujah. Can we give God glory this morning? The Bible says that He's the God that gives seed to the sower. What a mighty God we serve. Even for our giving, He provides. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Family, it's time for us to receive the offering this morning. But before I go any further, I have got to give honor where honor is due. Help me in the name of Jesus to celebrate our Father, our Moses, our prophet. Hallelujah. Yes, can we make a joyful noise unto the Lord this morning for giving us a father, a true papa, a real daddy, hallelujah, a real leader. I can't hear you, AMI. You should be making a joyful noise this morning, hallelujah. Others desire, others wish, others covet having a father like our father. And here you are, you are seated. You are seated when it's time to give honor where honor is due. Hallelujah. The whole auditorium should be on their feet. Even those on the, in the overflow. You should be on your feet this morning. As we give God glory for our Father. Our Moses, our prophet, our leader. Our mentor, our coach, our wise man. The angel of this altar. The one who is leading us to heaven. Glory be to God. Papa, I love you so much. I salute you. I thank God for your life. I thank God for all the sacrifices that you make. I thank God for the sacrifices that you make that we see. And even for the ones that we don't see. Because I know that you do far more than what we see. I thank God. I appreciate you, my Father. I honor you, my Father. I celebrate you, my Father. I give God glory for your life every single day of my life. Because I know that it's not by might nor by power but it's by the spirit of the living god that god has decided to place me under you glory be to god and at the same token family help me to appreciate our mother this morning a mother in zion a prayer warrior hallelujah an intercessor a prophetess in her own right hallelujah a gracious woman of god full of peace and full of love if there's ever if there's ever a human being besides my father that displays the fruit of the spirit it is bishop celeste Lucau. put your hands together for jesus for her life hallelujah you may take your seat in the presence of god i'm smelling some miracles this morning i don't know about you but i'm smelling that our father is coming with something great he's coming with something prophetic hallelujah and if i were you i would set myself to receive from whatever the man of God is about to release today. The atmosphere is charged. Hallelujah. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And where two or three are gathered in his presence, he is surely to show up in the name of Jesus. I'm excited for the celebration service this morning. Let's turn to the book of Exodus, chapter 25 and verse 1. The Bible says, Hallelujah, that the word of God says that then, then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the children of Israel that they may bring me an offering. From everyone who gives it willingly with his heart, you shall take my offering. Hallelujah. I want you to understand, family, that giving has always been God's idea from the beginning. We are living in a season, in a generation where the world has convinced us that pastors ask for offering because they want to enrich themselves. But I'm here to remind you as we all come back into the house of God and we gather in the presence of God, I'm here to remind you that the devil is a liar. The reason why the Lord asked for a, uh, an offering because he says in his word that when we give, he will give back unto us a press down, a shaken together, and a rolling over. Because we are imitators of Christ, and because we are joint heirs with His Son, Jesus Christ, and because we are co-workers, the Bible says that we are little gods. He wants us also to act the way He does, to perform the way He does, to demonstrate his word the way he does when he gave us his son he wants us to be imitators he's not asking you to sacrifice your children he's not asking you to sacrifice you know burnt offerings and in this time in this scripture further down in the scripture the bible says that moses was instructed to ask 
the people of Israel to give gold, to give frankincense, to give diamonds, to give of their best. Hallelujah. But in this dispensation and generation that we are in, we are not even required to give of our best. We are required to give an offering. And we are required to pay only 10% of our income. Hallelujah. Do not be fooled. Do not be deceived by the enemy. That the enemy has made you believe that, oh, now we are back in church. We have to give because, you know, they have been suffering all these months. I can tell you that the devil is a liar. Because despite the fact that we have not been in church and most of us have not given the work of God is still continuing. The work of the gospel has gone on. And in fact, it has gone on even more than we could have ever imagined. Hallelujah. So giving is for you and for me. He goes on and he says, make sure that everybody that gives, gives it willingly. Gives it willingly. The Bible says, be a cheerful giver. Hallelujah. This morning, I want you to take out your offering cheerfully hallelujah take it out with thanksgiving with joy take it out with gratitude take out your offering this morning in appreciation of the fact that god has done so much for you god himself is asking for an offering this morning not elf lukau not hallelujah ministries but the lord god himself is asking you to give your offering to pay your tithes to honor your vow to honor your seed your pmo7 if you have not done so as yet and i know that the god that we serve like we learned this morning every time he gives an instruction there's always a reward hallelujah we are going to receive the overflow we are going to receive abundance more than enough overflow the kind of blessings where you will be able to bless others in the name of jesus raise up your offering this morning wherever you are if you're watching over one of our social media platforms use something as a point of contact this morning maybe touch the screen if you can in the name of jesus touch your device that you are watching from this morning because god is asking for that offering he told moses speak to the children of israel that they may bring me an offering we need to understand that when we give our offering we are not giving to a man we are not even giving to a work we are giving to the lord hallelujah that is why we need to be cheerful because how do we repay all the things that he has done for us there is no amount that can ever repay what the lord has done for us if you just allow the spirit of god to remind you what you even went through yesterday last week last month you will under you will empty out your pockets because you will understand that if it were not for the doing of the lord i would be destroyed i would be lost and i would be weak hallelujah take out your offering and raise it up to the heavens this morning wherever you are in the overflow outside wherever you are i'm not seeing people's hands this morning you need to give to the lord for he has done so much he has done so much for us and he wants us to give back to him so that he can reciprocate hallelujah so every time you give he gives you give he gives you can never ever outgive god it's not possible i always say you give with one hand and he blesses you with abundance in the other hand you will never ever be lost when you give unto the lord father in the precious name of jesus we thank you father for the law of giving and receiving we thank you father god that without it most of us will be dry but because your word is true and because you ask for an offering almighty god this morning we are giving it unto you willingly and with joy and with peace knowing and understanding and having a blessed assurance that when we give you will give back unto us pressed down shaken together and rolling over father receive our offering this morning receive our tithe our vows lord our seed that we have sown almighty god receive it almighty god and as you receive it daddy i know that right now you are releasing angels all over the world angels with money in their pockets angels with healing in their wings angels with answers angels with solutions as we drop our seed almighty god you are dropping our answers our solutions our miracles our healing our deliverance our breakthrough our blessings our open doors our open heavens in the precious name of Jesus 
you may give this morning and be a cheerful giver in the name of Jesus. Amen. appreciate you i honor you and i salute you this morning for the anointing that is upon your life and i lay claim this morning of that anointing in fulfilling this short 
assignment. And next to you, the beautiful gem, the Rose of Alleluia Ministries International, is our beautiful mother, Bishop Celeste Lucal. I just love you, I adore you, and may God continue just to bless you where you are, mommy. We just give God the glory this morning. And family, like I've said, the short assignment, I'm just here to increase your faith, helping you to increase your faith. And that is to believe that as soon as you hear a testimony this morning, that you will lay claim of it and say, God, surely you will do that for me as well. With that said, let us go through the testimonies this morning. My beautiful sister, take us through your testimony. I greet you all in the name of Jesus. My name is Sonia. I am from Mozambique, but I live here in Johannesburg. I saw a man of God in Soweto TV and I was impressed because of the way he's operating his job. Amazing and excellent. <laughs> then I joined the church in Cramerville. So 2018 something happened to me that uh, I lost my Aslam. So I was frustrated because I needed to apply for school for my daughter. I was always praying and requesting, asking the Lord Jesus to make a way. Because I knew that it was no way. I ended up applying for school for the one that was expired and the school rejected. The school asked me, that, can't you see that there is a fault in your application? I was so down because I wanted my daughter to go to school. Then one day I remember I was in the basement praying, trusting the Lord Jesus to make a way. Then I saw a bishop, a bishop Stephanus. <laughs> expecting him to lay hand on me but he didn't he was just looking at me and I was looking at him as well then I saw myself in the floor by the time I wake up Stephanas was gone <laughs> It was Monday. I was just busy working in my workplace. Then one of my colleagues told me there is a woman looking for you. I went to her. She told me that we know that there is a fault in your application, but we have changed our minds. <laughs> Oh, And then the woman, she told me a place to go and buy a uniform for my daughter. This is a result. My daughter is now running a three S, and she's passing very well. I thank God for that. But I am not going back where I used before. I'm living here. And I am coming back because I'm trusting God to release my marriage. Hallelujah! You need to have this great faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Give glory unto Jesus this morning. 
morning AMI, you should lay claim of this faith as much as our sister did. You will surely reap what you are yes, sowing in deep. You put your hands on the word. You never open talk. Three sounds of the airports are there. Take us through your testimony this morning. Hallelujah! Woo! I am the daughter of Alf Lukau. It's okay. <laughs> Hallelujah! I greet you all in the wonderful name of my Lord, my Savior, Jesus Christ, the God of this house. Um, before I carry on with my testimony, I just want to send uh, a shout out to my dad, Papa. Bonjour, uh, Papa. Le pra je français. Est-ce que tu parles français? Est-ce que tu parles français? I'm going to France, by the way. Don't be jealous. Oh, yeah. Mon père parle français, donc je parle aussi français. That's just me boasting there a little bit. But anyway, um, Papa, merci pour tout. Um, que le Seigneur vous bénisse. Um, I just want to thank you for everything, uh, my dad. Um, Saints, uh, for the past, I think, about six to seven years, I have literally been almost like, I don't want to say living hell on earth, but I've seen the worst in as far as mental stability. Um, for the past six to seven years, there were three different issues that were all, that were all interlinked that had to do with my mental stability. Um, at night when I slept, I had literally, I could feel the presence of an evil spirit in my house. I remember about two months ago when I was sleeping. So every time when I sleep, when I sleep on my back, I think people call it sleep paralysis. When I sleep on my back, I would have this you know, thing oppressing me, literally. And when I sleep on the one side, I couldn't sleep. I had to sleep on this side. I could literally feel a pre the presence of this thing. And even, I mean, I'm sleeping, but I could see. It's, a, it's like a very grotesque figure. It was black, very, very pitch black, and very hairy. And I could see it literally doing its arms like this, almost pressing me down. But then when I looked up, you know, something just said, look up. And when I looked up, that thing literally flee. It literally fled on its own. But, um, I mean, this thing happened for like six to seven years, like I say. You know, it came, it went. I was travailing. I was praying. I mean, it went so bad. I remember in the crossover of, I think it was the crossover of 2019, 2020. I can't remember. I was so desperate, you know. I, I, I cried out. But God was not going to have it that way. God was going to allow me to walk my journey of faith. Um, and I decided, uh, I think it was two weeks ago when we went, my sister and I here, we went uh, to Secunda for outreach with Pastor Chirinza. I promise you. <laughs> Hallelujah. I promise you, saints, I did not know that my breakthrough is waiting for me in the field. Glory to Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Two days before I went to Secunda, two days, I had not even touched Secunda. Two days, the spirit left on its own. It was scared of the fire. Woo! Salwani, I've been struggling for six to seven years. Nobody laid hands on me. By the time I got to Secunda, Pastor Shirinza was just sealing it. Sealing it. I got my deliverance. Bless the Lord of this house. Papa, I thank you. Second testimony very quickly. Because of this thing that I couldn't sleep at night, sorry, because of the oppression that I was experiencing, I therefore could not sleep. So I had to be on very heavy drugs, uh, medication. So any doctor will tell you that anyone who's taking about, I think, uh, schedule six medication, that's probably the highest level of prescription medication. 
So remember I had this thing oppressing me, I couldn't sleep, so I had to take medication. And sometimes even this medication could not work. For the entire period, six to seven years, I was under oppression. You know what I mean when I say oppression? I was under oppression. And I remember, you know, um, it was... So the, the journey of my freedom started when I got the word from Papa through the prophetic ministry, uh, ministry of whatever ish. Prophetic School of Ministry, thank you. I always get it around. Prophetic School of Ministry. I remember very well the very first module when Papa said, do you know, when you receive the word and the revelation of the word, you won't even need anybody to lay hands on you. You will literally just walk out. Just walk out of whatever it was. So I took the word and the word was working in me and I was travailing. I was travailing. You know, the Bible says, when the women of Zion travail, they bring forth sons. I travailed in the spirit. I would pray. Saints, I promise you, I've got a phone. Ne? Sometimes my phone would clock that I, I stepped about 3,000 steps, walking, you know, stomping, praying, crying out to God. I remember I said, at that crossover, I said, I even wrote on a placard. I said, insomnia for five years. And I thought Papa would lay hands on me, the man of God. He didn't, just like Pro, uh, Pastor Stefan, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, it was not going to be that way. The Lord had allowed me to walk the journey of faith again, you know. So, it, Bazalwani, it was not easy. I don't want to lie. But I decided after receiving the word, I said, hey, devil, let me tell you who you are. You cannot be redeemed. I am the redeemed of the Lord. Hallelujah. I started, I started quoting Galatians 3.13. I said, I am the redeemed of the Lord. I am the redeemed of the Lord. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law, having been made curse for me. For it is written, cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree, so that the blessing of the Lord of Abraham can come upon the Gentiles, and that they may receive the promise of the Holy Spirit through faith. I said, Father, Lord, give me, my, give me my portion in the name of Jesus. I said, Father, Lord, as I travail, remember me, remember me. And I reminded the devil, I said, devil, you cannot be redeemed. You can't be redeemed. You cannot. Hallelujah. Your portion is under my feet. Amen. Your portion is in the lake of fire. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I look like Jesus. I sound like Jesus. I talk you like Jesus. When I walk, I have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rika zoto koriba je kesita. Koraba je kesita. You will save me this way. I did. Final one. This thing led to, believe you me, you see how petite I am? I was diagnosed with hypertension because of all this nonsense. Six to seven years I was on medication for high blood pressure. I'm very healthy. I play tennis and I skip and I run. I eat very healthy. I've never been sick. I've never been in hospital, but I was diagnosed with hypertension. I said, hey, Unjuela Gabi. I was like, you messing up with the wrong woman altogether. I said, hey, I'm a daughter of Alf Lukau. I started meditating. I started beating the floor. I went to the mountain. I used to go to the mountain and pray at the mountain. I said, devil, you are messing up with the wrong woman altogether. I said, my freedom is guaranteed. I am the redeemed of the Lord. I'm talking to you right now. I left the medication last year. Last year in August, up until now, I'm not on hypertension medication. I sleep like a baby. I do not have any spiritual oppression. I am free. Jehovah Rapha!
I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to greet my father, uh, Pastor Alflo Kao, and my mother. Hallelujah, Daddy. Amen. Oh, this place is holy. I am shivering. <laughs> uh, I came to know of AMI through Soweto TV. I am Precious Nemayem Beni from Dobsonville. When I came here, uh, before my mother passed, she said to me, uh, my daughter, I want you to go where others are going. I didn't know where that place is. One day I was just sitting down. I hate pastors. I hate uh, Bazalani. That's how they call them. I didn't like them because when they pray, uh, they push you down. <laughs> yes, and you end up, the other one that works with pastor, uh, like uh, Pastor Jesse, she tells you, uh, go down, go down. Oh, it's a way of honoring the pastor. Then I'll go down. So I came here, family. Uh, when I came here the first Sunday, Daddy was not here. I came back again. Uh, Daddy was there. He was the one doing the testimonies. I said, good luck. I cannot wait for him to prophesy. I am doing testimonies. I went to the testimony desk. I, re I wrote my testimony. Next Sunday, I waited for them to call me. They didn't call me. I said, these people, they are prophetic. I said, it's fine. I will testify again. I did another testimony. They didn't call me again. Until Papa stopped doing testimonies. Now, when testimonies come, the real testimonies, I say I will testify. Uh, I testify on my couch and sit and start testifying, testifying. That's the end of it. I won't come and do the testimony. Then uh, AMI, my testimony goes like this. On the Sunday uh, of the third, I was on the testimony uh, desk registering my name. Then Pastor Muzenda, hold my hand before I leave. She said to me, do I know you? I am feeling a move when I touch you. I was feeling nothing. And then she said to me, how are you feeling? That time now I started feeling something. I was burning. I said, I'm burning, Pastor. She said, how are you feeling now? I want to fall. I'm going to fall now. I said, Pastor, I want to fall. Then she stand up and come and pray for me. She prayed for me. On my way to church that day, there was something heavy on my, down my shoulder here. I can't even describe the pain. It was very painful. It was very deep inside. So she prayed for me. She prayed for me. She said to me, how are you feeling now? I said, Pastor, I am free. I feel light. I am free. I am free. This is what was, was happening to me when I come. Hey, my family, I have many testimonies. And then one day when I was taking my daughter to daycare, uh, on my way back home, I crossed the road before. Uh, then when I was ready to cross the road, I saw a vision. Daylight changed. The, it was blue everywhere. There was no cars. There was nothing. It was just me and the blue sky. And then the word said to me, did you check the road before you pass? I said, yes. The word said to me, go back and check the road up uh, left and right. When I went back, uh, that vision left now. It's daylight. When I look left and right, there's people everywhere holding their hands. Yo, sister, are you stressed? Yo, what is happening? Everyone. And then the taxi driver, the taxi that was supposed to hit me, is there. He's coming to beat me now. I said, yo, you won't beat me. He's coming to beat me. I said, I'm a covenant daughter of Alfa. You won't beat me. When he comes, I said to him, what is happening? He said to me, what are you doing? I said, what is happening? I don't know what is happening to me. I saw nothing. I didn't even see your taxi. I saw God. Everyone was a sister. Yo. Somebody even said to me, Amen. Today I was going to kill myself. I love you so much. I was going to tell my mother that today I'm dying because you are going to die. Every day when I come now, he wants to hold my hand and make me pass the street. I say, no, man. I am fine. So I said, so I didn't want to think of that thing because those people are going to, to give me depression. So I am one of those when daddy say, some of you, you wouldn't be here if it was not of him. That's me. I wouldn't be here if it was not God of Alflo Cow. I am saved. I am alive. And the spirit of death in my family, it is defeated. My family, is, my, my family is dying. But because of this God, it's defeated. My sister was in coma. She came out of coma in five days. My uncle was in coma. He came out of coma in five days. AMI, your God is alive. 
When you leave, where are you going? Come back, your miracle is staying. Come back, your miracle is waiting. I always tell them, because the devil is here, he's rooming in churches. And I tell them, when we argue, you, you will leave me here. I am not going anywhere. And I am my family. I am studying. I have bursary. And I am happy. Hallelujah. Divine protection is your portion by the grace of God. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, there is nothing impossible unto you. Say, unchangeable. Please take us through your testimony. Uh, good morning, uh, my family. Uh, I, I was here three weeks ago, and now I am back. I will just call it a, a series of uh, the flow will not stop. So it's episode Overflow, two today. Hallelujah. <laughs> So we are on episode two. Uh, three weeks ago, I came to testify. No, Papa, I, I have to honor you, Papa. Double honor. So I will say, I honor you, Daddy. I honor you, Daddy. It's double honor for your anointing. And I bless God to be connected in this place. And I thank God for the covenant that you took with God, that he, well, well, for as long as you take care of his work, he will take care of the things that concern you. And I am that thing that concerns you. I bless you oh but my father i bless you and uh i will i would also like to uh, honor my mother mama celeste i love you I, I i bless you i am blessed because i'm your daughter i arise and i call you blessed mommy so three weeks ago i came to testify that i have started to uh, since um, september for christ i started to go to uh, outreach with pastor shirin's so <laughs> It's sorted. It's sorted. <laughs> so we went to. Uh, we, we were going every weekend. We are going with with, with him to to outreach, and he always encourage us that wherever we are going, like, uh, there is a need. There is always a need where we are going. So please fulfill the need. Check the need. Fulfill the need. Do, he always uh, tell us to 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 be activated in giving wherever wherever we are going. But we must always declare that we are going this so that there will be no chiggy chiggy. Uh, though I, I usually forgot to declare because I will just say I, I'm led by the spirit. So <laughs> uh, wherever we are going, every weekend we are going, we are reaching out to, to souls. We, 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 are, we, we, we usually just uh, uh, buy food parcels and, and, bless, and bless people there. So three weeks ago when I came to testify, God had opened a, a small project for me. And I had two years not paying my debt because I couldn't afford I just thought I would rather eat than to pay the debt and the, 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 the total of my debt was 105,000 and I was just not paying them so as I follow outreach and God has opened this door for me and I like it won't even cover this hundred I wouldn't even I wouldn't bother myself with it so I'll follow God and we will go and, and do this thing and feed people and encourage people with love and embrace people with love and and give them something to sustain them for that day when they have had the good news news or uh, they had the good news of God I, I, I was really encouraged by the by the way today mommy the Exodus 23 verse 25 I, I, I am now convinced I had come to say God will not stop the flow but when I had that word I was convinced that he will not stop the flow I thought I will come to testify because this has happened and God uh, obviously it, it was just for one one thing but as we go we feed people God provides from the morning for the next for the next weekend and we we'll, we will. I, I, I just love giving. Just like last week, we have this. We have this T-shirt. And as I, as I was buying for others, people that I don't even know, they were like, "See, see I see you buying for people. Please buy for me." I bought until I said, "I am out." As in, I don't have in my account. I don't have in my purse. But God. 
just yesterday we were in western area and we we, uh, we bought pastors for 25 people god started providing from that monday after i've said i am out i am down i don't have anything so uh, god he's he's doing it he, he he just didn't stop the flow and i am here to bless god i i really thought you, it was going to stop but i bless god it is sorted i i am sorted hallelujah indeed glory be to jesus everything you put your hand go work you never open doors Testament. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the wonderful mighty name of Jesus. My name is Tandegile Spanda. I just want to honor my spiritual father, Papa Pastor Aflukau, for praying for us each and every day. Thank you, Papa, for kneeling down and praying for us each and every day. And I would like to honor Mamu Celeste for standing next to our spiritual father. Thank you, Mami. My testimony is about for my daughter. I am under Pastor Tandi Jovu. She's my AMI 12 leader, and my home cell leader is Sister Swongi Ledube. I honor them. Thank you, Lord. My testimony is about my daughter. She had two miscarriages. Then she was always crying about it every year. Then I said, My daughter, I'm a, I'm a disciple in the house in Alleluia Ministries. Each and every day I see people testifying in that house. I will also testify and you will also be called a mother. Thank you, Jesus. I would like to talk about the seven days of glory from the 1st to the 7th of July. Seven days of glory. It was 2020. I called my daughter to come and pray with me to cast out that spirit of always losing the babies. We prayed in my house. We got deliverance. Then I said, God, this is the start. I know it is done. Jesus, thank you, Lord. The same year my daughter got pregnant, 2020. I said, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 2021, my daughter was pregnant. We were praying with our home cell group. I would like to honor again the home cell groups. They are really working. We were on lockdown, but we didn't lock down ourselves. We were busy praying each and every day. If ever you post whatever, you've got a problem, they will pray for you. I own our home cell group. Emmanuel, that's our home cell group. I honor you. Thank you, Jesus. My daughter always had problems with this pregnancy. It was this and that. She was always sick, going to the hospital at six months. They started giving her some injections that she must inject herself on the tummy because the blood was not flowing well. I said, devil, you are in trouble. We are a liar. This child, you like it or not, she will be born. I decided that now I have to fight spiritually. I came to the altar with a cardigan for the child. I bought it before the child was born. I said, I want to lay it on the altar of my father. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 126 verse 5, it says, those who, who, who plant with tears on the altar, they will reap with the songs of joy. So I laid on that word. I said, I am planting a seed for this child and I will reap with songs of joy. We continued praying. The devil was still attacking us. Until nine months, my daughter went for a checkup. Then the, they said, the baby is not breathing well. We need to do emergency Caesar. Then I said, ah, devil, you are looking for my trouble. Not this time. We worked too far. It's too late, devil. I found my home cell leader again, Sister Swangi Ledube. Thank you very much for always standing for us, for praying with us. I salute you. I honor you. I found here. We prayed together. We were on the seven days of glory again. It was 2021. It was on the fifth day of the seventh days of glory. We prayed together until the morning. We didn't hear anything. The phones were off. I didn't even know whether was the child delivered, was the mother okay. The phones were off. There was no update. 
We continued on day six. I didn't know the child was already born. I posted on our home cell group in the morning. I said, I need prayers from, from the home cell group again. But my leader, had already, I have already told him. We prayed, we prayed. Later at night at 6 p.m., I said, God of Aflukawa can't pray anymore. I've done the best I can do, but I can't pray anymore. Just intervene in that hospital because I still didn't have the answer. Before on the night, on let's pray, I planted a seed. Baba Afu was talking about the PM on 7. Jesus. That's the, the thing that broke everything. PM on 7. The child was born. I paid my PM on 7. The child was delivered. It's a baby boy, a bouncing baby boy. I thank Hallelujah. God for that. Glory be to Jesus. We thank God this morning for He indeed is a big God and He will meet you at the point of your need this morning. Jehovah Shama, I see you everywhere. Blessed Redeemer. this morning by our testimonies mommy won't you just take us through your testimony I can see that you're already emotional and I know that God has done a big and mighty thing for you I'm sorry it is well it is well you are great yes you are Morning church. My name is Vuyoka Ziklelo. I'm crying because what I'm going to tell you, I can't believe it myself. I thank God for my father, Pastor Alf Lukao. I thank God for Sister Bridget Pasha because through everything I've been through, she was there for me. As old as I am, I can say she was like a mother to me. When I first came to Jobek 2017, I prayed to God from East London. I prayed to God, God, I'm coming to a place that I don't even know. Please guide me. Please be my God. I came to Jobek already born again. I'm told that there are occult churches in Jobek. I don't want to end up in those churches. Please guide me, God. The church that you will take me, if it's an occult, uh, you are to be blamed God so the church you are taking me to is the church that you want me to be that was my prayer before I moved from East London to Jobeg I came to Jobeg first night I dreamt of a man I've never seen him anywhere that was the first time I saw him in my dream he was standing in a big round thingy wearing a navy suit he was just standing like this holding a mic he said my name is Alf Lukau then I woke up I 
woke up, I was like, who is this? What is this? Then when I woke up in the morning, I asked the woman, I didn't know her because it was my first night. Then I said to her, where is Alf Lukau Ministries? Then she laughed at me, said, no, it's not Alf Lukau Ministries, it's Hallelujah Ministries. Why are you asking? Then I said, no, I dreamt of this guy. Then he said, she said, okay, I know the church, but I'm not, it's not my church. I will take you to there. And then she took, even though she's not part of the church, she took me straight to church. It was Sunday. Then we came to a second service. Then when I got here, okay. Like the way I was, I said, I think this church, it's not mine. But I kept on, that was 2017, every Sunday and Friday, because in Soweto, there are buses to come to church. I was at church. But there was a time in my life, to cut the long story short, I lost my job. 2016, 2017, I lost my house. 2019, it was a marriage. I left with nothing but my children, my true blessings. Then, it was 2019, towards the end of the year. I came to church from town to to Cramerville walking because the buses left me. Then I said, no, the buses leave me or not leave me. Even if it's a third service, if it's, if, even if it, they are going out, I will come in. I am going to church. I walked from Joburg to Cramerville. After church, I went to Pastor Rochelle. I don't know if she still remembers that. That was 2019. I went to her. I said, Pastor, I, I Thing she didn't believe. I said to her, Pastor, I came from Joburg to Cramerville walking. I don't have money to go back home. I don't know if the buses will take me because I didn't come by bus. Then she said, no, take this money. You can go home. Then I went home. And then things <laughs> turned to, like, it was like, my house, it was like we were cursed. Everything, we could go to bed. My youngest child is five years. We could go to bed without food, literally, with no food. Then I'll say, I will not share this with no one because people will. I'm that person who doesn't like people to pity her. I was like, okay, I will sit. And Sister Pasha, it will be like something tells her that there is something wrong with Fioga. She will phone me. Fioga, are the children all right? Then I'll say, okay, I must, because she phoned, I must tell you. And then instantly she will deposit money. Then what happened? What makes me to cry? After we lost everything, even here in Joburg, the place that we were staying at, at that the people came, they said, no, this house, they, there was a Zulu guy that used to stay here, and you are a closer. So they, there will be no closer benefiting from a Zulu. We want you out of this house. I cried. I cried in front of them. I cried until... I fainted. I ended up in Barra for seven days. I left my children outside. When I came back from Barra, they said, no, you can stay only maybe three to four days. Look for a place. I'm not working. I don't have nothing. The only, um, the only money we have in the house is a grant for three children, and it's, four, it's, four, it's, four, it's 400 per child. What am I going to do, Lord? For three days, we were sleeping on the streets with my children. Sister Pasha, I didn't share that with her. The only time I shared that when I was sleeping in Barra for depression for seven days. Then after, thank God for, for Facebook remote. As I was busy on Facebook, I saw auditions in Rosebank and it was nearly the grand time and then the, the audition was on the same day we were getting grant. Then I said, no man, I must try this because I don't know. I've never acted before. I know nothing about acting. And it was an advert. I went to this audition, but I didn't get the audition. What I got, I got the the, the <laughs> no, not the extras. I got the information. People shared numbers with me. So I stayed with that, but I applied and applied and applied, but couldn't get. One day I applied in Linga Shoni. They were looking for 100 extras. So I happened to apply. Then I got, it was two days. 
Then the second day I was on set, the production manager approached me. Then because I was singing, I am not a singer, but you know, in a, in a wedding. <laughs> so she approached <laughs> And then she approached me, she said, do you want to come tomorrow as Donald? And those who know who Linga Sean will know who's Donald. Do you want to come tomorrow as Donald? And then I said, okay, ma'am, I will come. Then she said, okay, you must come. We were shooting in Northwest, but the pro transport was provided. Then I went. I shot Linga Sean as an extra with them for four days. I got my 800. I was like, wow, just like that, 800 in my account. Then I got another gig. Then after everything was like quiet, back to, to square one. I was like, what's going on? I cried, I cried. Then I said, no, God, I'm not going to, your, I'm praying like out. God, I'm not going to your church again, but I love you. But I won't go to your church again. I will stay at home. Because it seems like people see me going to church each and every Sunday, but my life is like this. I don't even have a shoe to wear. So why must I go to church? So God, I won't go. Then I stayed at home. Then another brief came. I applied to this brief. It was housewives. They wanted prisoners. So I was the one of the first people that they got. I, I was... On that continuity series for two months acting non-stop as a prisoner hallelujah 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 open doors for you ami you need to claim it in the mighty name of jesus so after that i said okay i don't have another job what am i going to do I stopped going to church, staying at home. I've got another gig. I went. So last week, oh, I, uh, someone just phoned me randomly to come, and she, he was shooting a music video. I went, and then said, oh, no, we want you to one of the back, back, back vocalists on this music video. I've never been on music video then. I got that, or I, I'm on that music video, it's a gospel, but I don't know the song. <laughs> Let us give God thanks, AMI. You will surely reap from these testimonies. You will be edified indeed if you lay claim of this. Can, I, can we just go through our next testimony? My beautiful sister, please take us through your testimony. Hi, hi everyone. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I'm Sister Noctula, the, the daughter of the house. Uh, all protocol observed, Pastor Alf and Mama Celeste. I have just one request from you, but Bongani, once I testify, there's a song that I want you to sing for me that says, Gwangaba Umosa. And uh, before I go further, last year I was diagnosed with lungs infection i stayed at home couldn't see my kids for almost three months i was in quarantine for three months and then i remember the last time i saw was i was sleeping i couldn't do anything i couldn't feed myself i couldn't take myself to the bathroom because i couldn't stand then after that i remember i was watching Le let's pray it was uh, Bishop Stefan, and I can't remember who it was, and I fell asleep. Uh, I was at my sister's place. They have steps. I felt I was not sleeping. It was a vision. I felt steps coming. I, I felt people coming up the steps. I saw Pastor Alf. I saw Bishop Stefan. I saw Bishop Gwenzi coming to me. And I remember, I remember Pastor Alf sat next to my head, and Bishop Stefan and Ms. Pastor Gwenzi, uh, Bishop Gwenzi sat next to my feet. And Pastor Alf said to me, my daughter, today I came to see you. It's been long that you've been asking for me. Today I have visited you. 
from now onwards you are no more sick the following day I was worse than I was before I said but God pastor of came what is happening I tell you Sunday morning my sisters all of them they would come and do my bed do everything for me but I remember I woke up went to the stove made porridge for myself made food for myself I sat down, I watched TV. Everybody was like, and then what happened to you? I said, my father in heaven came to visit me. I feel no pain anymore. My second testimony, the reason why I'm here today, when I say I want Oputuwangane to sing this song for me, this is my son. This is my son. This is my older son. Besides Wesley, all you know Wesley. My adopted son Wesley. This is my older son. Three weeks ago, I went out to get something. An old man came into my house. He pointed a gun against his head. He said he stole something that he never stole. I personally gave an old couch to someone else because we had a new one. My husband bought a new couch. So I decided, you know what, let me give this to this old man this couch. So this guy came into my house, he grabbed my son, he beat him up with a slap. He told him that he stole this and he was pointing him with a gun and all around, people around came. I was not there yet because I went out to buy some, some stuff. When I came, when she told them that no, mommy was the one who gave the couch to this man, the gun turned and pointed at her. And then when I came, I asked who is that, where is the man who came with the gun? Because he believed his God in the area. I want to see him. He was nowhere to be found. And then people started to say no, maybe it's because that uh, he also, his son was also shot. And the question I asked, was I the one who shot his son? Mind you, my son was writing his exams. I had to deal with a child that just went numb. You know, you see when I say numb, he couldn't speak, he couldn't say anything in the house. He's a very bubbly person. Even till today, he doesn't speak much. Uh, not so long ago, this week, my husband was hijacked. They put him on the boat, they shocked him, they beat him, they wanted to take the car. I thank God. I used to have the key, you remember the key that God gave, Daddy gave us? In my heart I said, you know what, I have his big photo in the house, you keep the key because this car God gave us. And then after that, I know around 10 o'clock he comes back home. I asked him, let's, let's pray because the others were already sleeping. We prayed the second time, I said, no, let's pray. I feel like praying. And the funny part, I was praying in tongues. I didn't know what I was saying, but I was praying in tongues, calling his name. And then around half past 11 at night, when he, when he opened the gate, he was full of blood. And he was filled with um, something that they wrapped him around. And his, they wrapped him with his own belt. His neck was twisted because they pushed him against the, the passenger's seat so that he wouldn't move. They pointed a gun at him to go and withdraw all the money he had in account. So they took everything he had what I thank God for, even though they wrecked the car, even though they did all of that, his head, his lungs, his, his um, ribs were wounded. His head was wounded, his eyes were swollen, his forehead was like massive. But all I'm saying right now is that I thank the God of this house. If I was not connected, if I was not connected, to, 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 to this altar, I would have buried my son two weeks ago. 
I would have buried, I've buried my son, my husband, yesterday. By the grace of God, I thank you. That's why I say, I don't want any other song, but I just want that one that says, <laughs>
to feel Bow before the throne Show the glorious God Bow before the throne Your name is 
Your name is powerful, Jesus. Your name is glorious, most high God. King of glory, Lord of lords. We're here to bless you, to give you all the glory, to give you all the praise, all honor, now and ever. Lord God of Israel, King who lives forever, healer, deliverer, most high God. We bow before you in this great day, our day of salvation, our day of turnaround, our day of miracles, day to see your glory, to see your power once again. We bless you, O oh God. Spirit of the living God, glorify Jesus. In our midst, may Jesus Christ be exalted. May Jesus Christ be elevated in our midst, O oh God. Do it, O oh Lord, for your sons and your daughters. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Shalom to you. May the Lord bless you. God bless you wherever you are. Shalom, shalom. Shalom to you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Kelvin View, God bless you. God bless you. I love you and I pray the blessings of God upon you. Shalom to all of you. In Kelvin View specifically, those of you who are inside the auditorium, shalom. Outside the auditorium, those who are in the first overflow, may the glory of God be with you. Shalom. Those who are in the second overflow, God bless you. Shalom. 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 The Lord our God is glorified. I greet you those in Gabon. Gabon, Port Gentil. The Lord bless you. Shalom to you. Libreville, shalom to you. God bless you. In Cameroon, God bless you. It is beautiful to see the, the billboards that we are seeing in the city of Yaoundé. Uh, God, God is just good. God bless you. Wherever you are, shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom to those of you in the United Kingdom with Pastor Lelo. I love you. I pray the blessings of God on all of you. Hey, my London, United Kingdom. God bless you. Shalom to you. God bless you all wherever you are on site. In France, in Paris, in Champs-Élysées. We pass on Gregoire and the wife Cecilia. Shalom to all of you, sons and daughters of God. Wherever you are, those on site, I bless God for you this morning. And that those of you who are online, you are on Facebook, you are on YouTube, you are on AMI TV, you are connecting on Periscope, you are on IG, God bless you, hear me. Today as you connect online, please share the opportunity that we have to the world. Let everybody out there tap into this anointing. Meaning, if you are on Facebook, please share this video. You can share the video more than once. Share it and later on, after a few minutes, share it again. And in between, be interactive. Respond. Send messages. Let us know what God has done for you. And keep on sharing your faith as you are online. Be active. Just as you say amen in the church. If you're on YouTube, make sure that you have subscribed. In fact, take it upon yourself that you make everyone that you know also to do the same, to subscribe. Ask your mother, your father, your son, your daughter, your cousin, your friends, your colleague, whether they have subscribed, whether they are connected. If they are not yet connected, or they are not subscribed, please help them yourself. Take it upon yourself to help them subscribe. On IGTV, please keep on sharing and speaking and sending a comment. The Lord our God will bless you and bless me together. The Lord is here. His goodness is for you and is for me. In a few minutes, you see what God will do. He will answer you. He will touch you. He will bless you. Today is a day of power. Somebody lift your hand and say, Today is my day of power. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. My family here on Zoom. 
God is to be glorified. Shalom to you. Asi Douala, Cameroon, shalom. Shalom again, Port Gentil, shalom. Rebecca in UK, shalom. Shalom to all of you. Jordan, God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Lee, shalom. My precious son. Tolo Lima. And my daughter Siala. You carry what the Lord has bestowed in you. You carry something that I will shake nations. Hear me. God is about to do for you what your eyes have not seen before. Hey, my Canada, God bless you. Shalom to you. Love you, love you. My precious daughter, Karine, I hope you're coming to Paris. Are you, you coming to Paris? I gotta see you there. God bless you. Billy, God bless you. Rachel, God bless you. Hither, God bless you. We are the people of God. We are a nation set aside. We will see the glory of God together in the name of Jesus. Hear this. Those who are watching in the United States of America, Bishop Jackie, my daughter, carrying a special anointing visibly manifested in our generation, has not seen. He has what his father, what her father has bestowed in her. She will be in New Jersey, in New York, in Hayat, I believe, this morning for a great service. God is doing awesome thing. I've been in touch with my precious daughter, Grace, and son, Robert. It will be glorious. My dear son, Vincent Bone will be there. Now, I tell you, Vincent Bone is in a different level in the United States of America. When somebody is well connected, he grows. When somebody is well connected, he grows. So we thank God for what will happen in the United States of America today. And today, right now, in this place, wherever you are, irrespective of your time zone, the Lord is about to elevate you. The words that are coming out of my mouth are not just to motivate you. I'm speaking as a prophet. Today, the Lord will elevate you. Meaning the Lord will make you stand. I don't know how many people are getting this word. Because if you know that this is your word, you will react to the word. You will react to the word. Hey, my Switzerland, this is your word. We stand to proclaim big God, big things. You stand to agree with God. That his God is great, is powerful. How many of you believe that God is great and powerful? Ladies and gentlemen, it can only be God that kept you together in this time. It can only be God that saw you through the winds and the waves that you had been exposed to. Oh, I wish my voice would be louder in somebody who is in faith to react and respond to the word. This type of word is your word and you cannot be silenced when you hear it. It can only be God who brought us this far. Thousands of us are still here because of the altar of God. Lesike rima tomoko shekere beganda. Le basete rebekonto. Today I'm preaching, you're praying, you're reacting. We are doing it together. It's a different service. Because as I said today, God will elevate you. God will pick you up and lift you up. Lama sete, Dubai, are you listening? Le mazoto bobo korobo sete. Nete rebekonto. So we, we will touch heaven 
so that change may manifest on earth. Big God, big thing is a theme of your faith in this season. Big God, big things is a little more than the event of a day. You are believing in this time. In this time when men and women across the globe are going mild in their faith. You still dare to believe that what men cannot do, God is able to do. You still believe that where men have stopped, God has continued. You still dare to believe that the what material things cannot produce, God can produce. You still believe that what money cannot buy, God can give. You say God is big. God is great. And is able to do big things. May the Lord meet you at the point of your need. May the faith of your heart be today. Honored. In Jesus name. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the time where it has been cleared and highly demonstrated that the arrogance of the man out there of the intelligence has been limited and exposed as it is just as we look back we realize that those who yesterday with long beard and glasses those who yesterday with big uh, syllabus who told us that they knew it all they had no clue of what they were talking about science had shown through the pandemic its limits. The great system of the world today had shown again through its limits that it does not have what it said it had. We came to realize that we've been relying on something broken, something incomplete. And that this is the world as exposed to us. The entire health system of the globe in just a minute was on its knees. What yesterday men wanted to present as an alternative to God. Saying don't believe your God. We have the truth. And the truth is men have come from a monkey. The theory has been exposed to its wickedness. We now realize that if we had made a mistake to completely lean on that stupidity, we would have fallen and got lost, just like many who now today are in darkness. Those who yesterday told us that they are standing in a better point and they have a better view of what is happening, they are standing to tell us what is wrong and what is right. They know what God says and they can say what God says is not what God says because according to them, they have found fault in what God says. They have found fault in the word of God. Today we look at them and say, where is the wisdom of the wise? Those who beat the chest yesterday in the arrogance of the suit, sitting on certain desks somewhere as men who knew something have been all exposed in the wickedness. When I say wickedness, I mean the ignorance pushed to men as truth. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is anything that we all have to remember of what has happened to the world, this is what we need to remember. Man is not God. Let God be God. If there is a thing we have to remember, we need to remember that man has limits in all that he does. Oh, well, God has blessed man, but man does not have all. So man cannot take God's place. God is God and his place is high. God is sovereign. God is supreme and cannot be replaced by anybody.
my precious in the Lord. Today is for you and I a day to pray. It's for you and I a day to believe again. It is for you and I a day to dare to trust God again. It is for you and I the day to stand and take the risk to stand in front of the world and say to the world, Jesus Christ reign, he is on his throne. There is only one great king and that is the Lord and he rules over the affairs of men. I don't care who says what. When the Son of God will be lifted, he will draw all men unto him. The Son of Man heals. The Son of Man delivers. The Son of Man brings breakthrough. The Son of Man takes men in the limitation to where He said for them to be. The Son of Man is the only one who has the last word. When everything falls, those who look to Him are radiant. Their faces will never be covered with shame. The Son of Man is still in the business of healing. He healed yesterday. He heals today. He heals leukemia. He heals colon cancer. He heals the tumors in the brain he heals the sugar diabetes he heals intestines problems he heals arthritis he heals high blood pressure and low blood pressure he heals the dysmenorrhea he healed yesterday and he heals today those who look to him can get from him and ladies and gentlemen, our gospel is not a gospel of tattoos. We are not in the gospel of long hair and short hair. We are not in the gospel of long robes or short robes. We are in the gospel of power that says to the world that Jesus Christ is well able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask and hope for. There is no way you can trust in God and fall. Those who look to him cannot fall. Those who have him as their hamper. Those who have him as a refuge. Those who have him as their hiding place. Those who have him as their pillar cannot fall. I'm here to prophesy. Winds may blow. Waves may come. The Lord your God is on your side. He will not let you down. He will not let you down. In Jesus name I am praying the Holy Ghost that something good may happen to you in Jesus name I am praying in the Holy Ghost that God may glorify his name once again my precious in the Lord we are living in a very awkward time we are living in a time when good is called bad and bad is called good we are living right in the time when in our own eyes we are seeing men and women in the ferocity of the wickedness pulling down anything that is godly and most of us are so acquainted with it that is not a, a threatening picture anymore we are seeing prophets being killed we are seeing homes being destroyed our children at school have been taught things that are completely of values that are against our God. But yet none of us has the power we feel small. The power to change an entire system. We are living in a time where the enemy has put on a suit. And when he walks on the street or sits on a desk with cameras and microphones men and women out there including those in the church pay attention to what he say but when god the true his prophet is speaking everyone is looking on the other side and going to their own business we are living in a time where hope is not hope anymore the impossibilities of what has been seen out there is hitting men in the body of christ and dying there are certain people who are supposed still to be here today. The Lord still needed them. The vision was still to manifest. The plans were still to be executed. But the enemy robbed their lives and nobody to help. 
Et ni trou à Jésus quoi c'est. Satan comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Lives have been destroyed. There are mothers who are supposed to carry children. Oh no, the enemy blocked them. Baroness had held them captive. And the door they are there, willing and say, Lord, manifest your glory. Nothing is happening and nobody's happy. There are people today who are seeing the very children that they brought up in joy, in love, turn evil and turn against them. Do you know what it feels for a mother to have? A vicious argument with her own son or her own daughter. Where insult has been exchanged and you ask yourself as a mother, where did I go wrong? I didn't teach this. This is a seed that is not coming from our home. Because ladies and gentlemen, certain out there, he is not stopping. He's going all out to destroy, to kill, to steal. A man struggling with cancer watching me right now. You're looking and saying, if only God will do something for me. It is not my time. I still have my children to grow. If I'm not here, I do not know who will take care of my family. I feel in prison. I feel locked. I have no hope. I am here to tell you about a man called Jesus. I am here to say to you, Jesus Christ loves you. He is able to turn your situation around. And today, he will turn your situation around. Yesterday, the Spirit of God came on me. And it was just in the early evening. I started clapping, I started clapping, I started clapping. I could not stop. My hands could not stop clapping. I was praying in the Holy Ghost. I had tears all over me. I was crying before God. I was on my altar and I was clapping. I was clapping. I clapped for over two hours. I was just clapping. As if my clapping had a voice. As if my clapping was saying something to God. It was more than just a normal clap. Something was happening. Happening. Can I get you to clap for God for a minute? Wherever you are, just clap for God. Clap for God. Clap for Him. Clap for Him. Clap for Jesus, the healer. Clap for Jesus, the deliverer. Clap for Jesus, the one who loves you. Clap for Jesus, the one who changes your story. Clap for Jesus Christ, the one who's going before you to make every crooked way straight. The one who's defending your cause. The one who's looking after your children. The one who's saying your future is blessed. The one who's saying no matter what they do, they will not overcome you. Clap for Jesus. Hear me, our God is awesome. And he want to do something for his sons and his, for his daughters. Our God is glorious. And today he wants to do again what only he can do. He will do it for you and he will do it for me. We do not serve God. A God who is weak. Church is not a place where we just come and gather. Our gathering as the church of God is key. But the essence of our gathering and coming together should always be the foundation of everything we do. Whether you are at home, alone, connecting through a device, we have gathered virtually together. But we do so understanding one thing. That we serve the almighty God and is well able to do what he said he will do. Your God opened the eyes of the blind. It was not symbolic that the blind eyes opened. 
The very same way he opened the eyes of the blind, I believe. He want to do so today. Your God provided for a crowd weary. A crowd made of men and women and children that came after him to listen to his word, but yet they had nothing to eat. With fish and bread brought by a young man for his own lunch, he multiplied and fed them. Is a provider. We serve the Lord God as reported in the scriptures. In the boat with his disciples as he was laying to rest. This was a setup. The entire circumstance of that day was knitted together by God to bring us to understand that our our God is not limited. Even the elements of life, the elements of nature bow before him. Winds and waves began to blow. And the disciples who were trained in anything that had to do with the sea began to fear. If they were to fear, those of them who were fishermen still feared. It means that the situation was grave. They woke him up saying, Oh Lord, are you not afraid? Are you not concerned that we are perishing? The fate was done. They were perishing. It was a, a done thing. They didn't say that we might. They say we are perishing. Jesus Christ rose and the Bible said, He spoke to the wind. And he spoke to the wave. How can a man speak to the wind and the wave? Was he in his right sense of mind? How can one speak to elements of nature? He's speaking to the weather. And he said to the weather, be still. He did not need to explain himself. What he says is done. And the Bible says immediately the wind, the waves went quiet. Speak, oh God. Speak in the life of your son today. Speak in the life of your daughter. Is there anybody who's experiencing winds and waves beating on his life, beating in his business, beating on his family? Say to God, speak, oh God. Speak once again against the winds and the waves. And shalom will manifest. This Jesus Christ who was on his way to a man who called him, his name was Jairus. Jairus had an issue. Jairus, a man well known in society, a man applauded by many, a man who had a statue. It is said that he was the chief of the synagogue, but this man got in a place where he did not know what to do. He knew according to the philosophy and the, 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 the rumors out there that Jesus Christ was not a good man. They could not associate with him. But he said, I am in a matter that requires more. A pastor came to see me and say, they say to me, I should not come, but I'm coming still because my situation has no answer out there. This man of God, this pastor came and say, those around me told me that if you will go to this man of God, we will disown you. I hesitated coming. But after a while I realized they are stopping me from going there but they are not able to provide me with an answer. I need God before it's too late. And he came to one of the IVP. Just because I had this story 
Everything in me moved. I told him, I'm counting one till seven. And that situation will leave you. He had a situation, a health situation. I said, man of God, are you ready? He looked at me. It seems like he was not really completely understanding what we do. Because you see, there is a manner to be in God, a religious manner, a conventional manner. We are not conventional. I am brutal with God. In God, I'm violent. The Bible says from the time of John the Baptist till today, the kingdom of God suffers violence. The violent take it by force. I stand in the front line of battle. Oh, well, he came from a school where you must do it this way. So I was asking him, are you ready? He said, I guess so. I say something is about to happen to you. You must connect and cleave to my faith. You're about to receive your healing. Uh, I'm praying for you. Are you ready? Say, man of God, I'm ready. Just tell me what to do. I say, all I want you to do is open your hands. I will count one till seven and you will see what the Lord God of Aflukau is about to do. I counted one. He felt nothing. Two, he felt nothing. Three, he felt nothing. Four, he began to shiver. It's like something was going through him. He could not control himself a five he was a shivering six he was shivering as a seven the man was lifted projected he was slain under the power of god they tried to make him open his eyes or wake up he remained there as a forgetting the lord has done it god has done it it is that obviously god does not miss a miracle came out of him he came with a testimony because God is a good God. A Catholic priest came to church. As a Catholic priest, I know he had probably to jump some lines for him to come to church. He said, Pastor, I am a priest. From the Catholic church, I am a priest. I have come to this IVP. I have come to see you because I have an issue. And I have prayed all kind of prayer. Nothing has manifested, so I come. But you too may try to pray for me. You too may try to call on your God. I said to him, are you still in church? Oh, well, he's still in church. I said, oh, well. My dream growing up was to be a Catholic priest. God did not want. But I have grown in the Catholic environment. Studied in Catholic school. I had a communion. I was a servant. I even sang in the Catholic choir. All that I said to him, for him to know that uh, we are in the same pace. Because I knew what was about to hit him would be far more than uh, what he ever seen. So I wanted him to be well. I understood what it took for somebody from a such structured religious home to come to me. Lama Hoba. I got him comfortable to tell him about all the others that I knew. Then I say, I want to pray for you. Stretch my hand. Not that I am something. I'm just an instrument that crazily believes God. There is nothing in me that is special. Since young, I always trusted that God will do more because there is more in God. So I stretch my hand I say, if you will touch me and believe with me, something will happen to you. He thought that I was greeting him. Without thinking, he touched my hand. He did not know that he was touching high voltage power. When he touched my hand, he was projected under the power of God. He began to convulse under the power of God. I came down and laid a hand on him. Spoke words over him. When he stood, he could not stop jumping. He said, I feel joy. I'm jumping. I said, God has done it for you. 
Because his God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask and hope for. Jehovah be glorified. Jairus was a leader of the synagogue that told him not to go to Jesus Christ. But because of his situation, the daughter was sick. He went to Jesus Christ and said, My daughter is sick at the point of death. If you will come and heal him. Jesus said, I will come. And as Jesus Christ was going to the house of Jairus, I am speaking about your Jesus. I want you to know that he is powerful. I want you to know that he did it yesterday. I want you to know that what he did yesterday is able to do today. I want you to know that he has chosen you. And he will do for you and through you something big in Jesus name. As Jesus began to walk to the house of this man known as Jairus. The chief of. The synagogue. Then the Bible say a woman. Who had her own issue. This woman came to the crowd. She was literally anemic. For 12 years she bled. She came to the crowd not to view. To have a. A, a, a glimpse of Jesus. No. She came because she was a woman who needed God. What, what, what brought you to church today? What led you to this connection today? She said to herself, if I can only touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made well. Twelve years problem was solved because of the connection made through her faith. She was healed. Right there as Jesus Christ Terry speaking to this woman. Because he's so power living him. The Bible say. People from Jairus house came to him and say, Why trouble you the master, any, the master anymore? Your young daughter has died. I can just begin to imagine the pain of hearing that bad, horrible news. Your daughter, your princess, has died. There will be no bad news in your life. I stop every bad news from coming to you. May the Lord God prevent anything to turn into evil. And send its signal as bad news to you. There will be no bad news in your house. There will be no bad news in your family. In Jesus name. When this man heard. You don't need to fast anymore. You don't need to give anymore. You don't need to follow God anymore. You don't need to go to church anymore because your daughter is dead. Jesus crossed the Bible, say hurt, and say quickly to this man, he say, fear not, just believe. May I please announce to you, Jesus is able to turn your situation around. He went to the house of Jairus and he asked to be taken away the loveless body of this young girl. The dead girl was. She was just 12 years old. And as Jesus Christ went in, he did not allow many to come except the mother, the father, and uh, his few disciples. The Bible says he looked at this loveless body of the young girl and said, Talita Kumi. Young girl, rise up. And the young girl who was dead rose from the dead. Marekali Atako Bobo Shoto is a miracle working God. The one who changed water into wine is a miracle working God. The one who opened the eyes of the blind is a miracle working God. 
The one who caused the lame man to walk is a miracle working God. The one who walked on water is a miracle working God. And he's saying to you, son, daughter, fear not. I am your God. I am with you. I will do for you what will change your life. What will shock your time. He will do it. You see, our God is not weak. We, we, we don't just serve a God. No, we, we, we serve the almighty God. The God of, of Lukau, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of my fathers, the God of my sons and daughters, is an awesome God. God of Jehi, God of Shepherd. God of wise men Gabriel Magasila. God of Celeste Jasmine Lukau. God of Stefan Aduya. The Lord God of Israel. Lema okoto maege agiga sokoto babe indi nandosho. I will not present to the world a weak God. My God heals the sick. My God heals the sick. Any sickness. My God opens the eyes of the blind. He still does so today. My God. Is a miracle working God. It turns the life around today. And He want to do something for you today. The Lord God, you came to know, to trust, to believe. Want to change your story and change your destiny. You want to change the story of your family. You want to break the yoke of the enemy that has been oppressing you every night. You want to release you, I'm talking to you, release you from the shackle of the enemy. Your life is bound, you feel it, you know it, something is wrong. You can't progress as you're supposed to. Your life has been put in the bottle. The enemy imprisoned your success. Satan and his diabolical accolade imprisoned your success. They say you will not progress no matter what you do. You go up and down. There is no beautiful story to tell in your life. And as a child of God today, you're saying enough is enough. God is able to turn your story around. Today, I have an evangelical spirit on me. I am speaking as an evangelist. Because your soul is what God is after. You are seeing Satan coming to break your fall, your family, to break your, 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 your home, to break everything you're building. God is saying it cannot carry on like this. So I pray that what Jehovah began to do, it may fulfill for you and for your household. Those who are in the overflow in Johannesburg, Receive the glory of God. Receive the power of God. Those wherever you are online, receive what God has in store for you. In the name of Jesus. This is what God intends to do. And I want to speak to you now as really your pastor from the altar of Amen. As you see me now, you will see me again. At the dome. 
unless God brings me out from my knees again. As you see me now, you will see me again at the doom. I will remain on my knees as I've been. I will remain seeking God. I want you to also remain seeking God. I want you to also remain praying. Pastors, pray. I bless God for what Angola is doing in my Angola. Created a chain of prayer. Where they're praying 24-7, five hours throughout the day, even at night. Every day. That God may manifest his goodness on the 28th. That God may glorify his name. Remain in the spirit of prayer. Some of you should fast and pray. I want you all to understand. Our God cannot be presented to us as a story of yesterday. He heals the sick. He turns lives around. Whatever situation you have. I pray today. That you receive your miracle. And that God may use you as a vessel through which miracles will happen. I spoke there as an evangelist. Now I'm speaking as an apostle. Your life will never be the same again. The glory and the power of God... Is coming on you in a way you have not seen before. Because you are chosen by God for glory. You are chosen by God for power. So shall it be. It cannot be otherwise. In the book of Ezekiel 22 verse 30. Ezekiel A young man called by God who has been used as a voice of God, a prophet of God to those who have been taken into captivity. He looked up to Jeremiah who was a man prophet. Here he's speaking and dealing with matters Almost in the same line of the ministry of Jeremiah. Rebuking, redressing, correcting. Verse 30. Chapter 22. God is speaking. He said, so I thought, I thought, I thought for a man among them. Who would make a wall and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it but I found no one God is saying my eyes were open even as Jerusalem and Israel had sinned I was looking for just one man. One man who will put himself last. One man who will present his capacity to me. One man who will say yes to the call of the kingdom. One man who will say, have it all, O oh God. He said, I thought for a man. Among them. A man who will make a wall. A man who will build something for me. I thought for a man. Who will make a wall. A man who will take his own resources and present to the kingdom. A man who will empty himself. So that the kingdom in this very awkward time may be strong as thought to a man who will make a wall and he said and stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land there must be somebody 
Who can stand before God? soto for this family. There must be somebody who stand before God for this city, for this nation, for this generation, for your nephews and your nieces, for the younger generation of your offspring. He say. A man will stand in the gap before me on behalf of the land. To stand on behalf of the land means he's not standing there for himself. This man gave himself for a cause. My precious in the Lord. God wants you to be that man. God wants you to be that woman. A woman who will give everything to God to make a wall. A woman who will stand in the gap on behalf of the land for them, for this generation. When I look, I say, we've been working hard. Literally pushing day and night. Why? We could choose differently. Why so hard? Why invest so much? Worldwide, that is. Hallelujah Ministries. It's because we answered yes to the call. A man who will build a wall and stand in the gap on behalf of the people. That I may not destroy it. Meaning if there is a man. Through his work. God can spare a city. God can spare a life. God can spare men and women. Thousands of men. Hundreds of thousands of men. Millions of men. Will be saved. He said I'm looking for a man. Unfortunately in this verse the Bible says. I did not found. I found none. Oh, well, if it was in the time of Ezekiel that God found none, it is my prayer today that God may find you. For your family, God may find you. For your community, God may find you. For your uh, city, God may find you. For this generation, I pray that God may find you so that city may be spared. Your family may be spared. Your younger generation may be spared. Lama Zeketa Robokoto. I want you and I to pray. We pray for the great grace of God. I sense in the Holy Ghost that God wants you to know that He has chosen you. He wants to elevate you. He wants you to be standing in the gap. He has chosen you. Through you, he want to save and bless. Through you, he want to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask and hope for. He want to show to the world that he's strong again. Today, deliverance will take place. Healing will take place. Breakthrough will take place so that you may become a vessel of the same. A fountain through which breakthrough, healing, deliverance will be available to the world. On site. Wherever it is, Kelvin View, pastors, ministers, stand and be in front of the people. Hey, my friends, pastors, ministers, stand be in front of the people. United Kingdom, with Pastor Lelo, sons and daughters, ministers serving with Pastor Lelo, please stand in front of the people. Porjonti. With my son, Mr. Yesi, sons, daughters of God, ministers stand in front of people. Everywhere you are, on site that is, on site, where you have gathered on site as a church, stand in front of the people and stretch your hands toward them. The rest of us, if you are on site, I want you to stand up. Kelvin View, stand up. Stand up in the auditorium. 
Stand up in the first overflow. Stand up in the second overflow. Stand up where you are. Lift your hand before God. Lift your hand before God. Lato makebe kikiriyako robo zente. Zekete rebe kolobo soto. We pray now that God may glorify his name. And we pray. I am here praying with everybody. But my point of contact is you here on Zoom. Leba zoto rebe katababosho. Ma rebe kotobosho korobo zeke rebe zete. Cameroon, eh, my dwala. We pray. Sakatababo korobo sete. Pray, speak to God. Pray that the glory of God, the power of God, may flow over you. I give you time to pray, and we'll begin to release word. Lama sete reke tababosho. Speak to God. Leto bobo soto. We stretch our hands towards you. We stretch our hands towards you. Bababa soto. you are on site if you want to be prayed for you trust in god for a miracle and you know that right now god wants you to activate what he said in you i want you to go to the front go to the front pastors are there have been stretching their hands they will lay hands on you and they'll pray for you hear me we believe in the ministry of laying on of hands that is our faith. We stand by it. We lay hands. If you believe someone can lay hands on you, please, it is free. Come and let somebody pray for you. God is doing something. The laying on of hands is our ministry according to the word of God. 
He said, you shall lay hands on the sick. They shall be well. So if you are out there in any of our branches, be it small gathering or big, and you want to be prayed for in that way, please go in front and pastors will pray for you. If in any way, for some reason, you feel stretching hands on you is enough, that okay. Remain in your seat. As we pray, the blessing will come on you. But if you are of those who really want to tap into it, you say, I want my hands, I want somebody to lay hands on me. Please go in front. Paris, do the same. London, do the same. Uh, Port Gentil, do the same. Libreville, do the same. Uh, Cameroon, do the same. Switzerland, do the same. Kevin, you do the same. Pretoria, do the same. Wherever we are, let us all pray. And that those of you with me here on Zoom, stretch your hands toward man. Hey, my Canada, I see you. I love you. Hey, my Jamaica, blessed be God. I'm seeing you. God bless you. I stretch my hands towards you. The glory of God, the power of God, as we pray now. Those of you here, as I pray on Zoom, I am in this way also praying for those who are connected on YouTube, on MITV, on Facebook. Stretch your hand and receive the glory of God. This is a point of contact. Mama maze tarababokoto. I release the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Masete, my daughter, no. God is touching you now in Jesus' name. Take it now in Jesus' name. Korobo kerebesia lamate keriba karababa soto yekato show mama tarababa korobo zete la sekete bebe konto. Receive the glory of God. Receive, receive, receive. Receive Julia Williams in Canada. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. That is yours. Receive it in Jesus' name. I'm praying with you. Agnes, receive, 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 receive. Mindebo, receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, my Japan, receive the glory of God. Karen, receive. It is all yours in the name of Jesus. Lato soto bobo soto. The power of God, the power of God is coming on everyone. My Jesus, my Lord, my King. Leta baba bakondo. Rebeke seto kobobo soto. Oh yes. Oh yes. Lensot Mendy Watson. The glory of God is on you. The power of God is on you. What God has done is increasing it. His power on you is increasing, is increasing, is increasing, is increasing, is increasing. Now in Jesus' name, let the glory releasing the glory, releasing the power. Of God, take what is yours in the name of Jesus. Take what is yours in the name of Jesus. Take what is yours in the name of Jesus. Jacqueline on the song, it is your time. Jacqueline, it is your time. Jacqueline, it is your time. Take it in Jesus' name. Freedom. Jude, prosperity is coming your way. What didn't work before, begin to count. It shall work now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Dr. Root. Dr. Root, receive. Dr. Root, receive. 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 Materebe Konto. Shekerebe Gondo. My Jesus. Sharon, your time has come. Sharon. Sharon, your time has come. Sharon, receive it. Sharon, receive it. Receive it. God is touching Canada. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Vato Roko Sholobosete. The glory of God, the power of God. The glory of God, the power of God. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Lama Mazatev, receive it in your home. Receive the glory of God. Receive your power, God. Bare Basia Baba Basete, Lama Sete, my son Emmanuel Nkoma. Remember, you are called to serve God. Ministry is in you. The anointing of God is in you. Take the glory. Take, 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 take it, take it, take it, take it. In Jesus' name, Mareka Tuba Basheya. Oh my God. I bless your name. I bless your name. I bless your name. 
I bless your name, God. I bless your name. Mare bezo koto robo keta sheta. Yeke sobo sarababa koto. Keep on praying, keep on speaking to God. Receiving the glory, receiving the power. Mashete bebe bekente. Zobobo. Tens of thousands of miracles are being released right now to sons and daughters who are connected right now. Take your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Take what is yours. Karaba. Kerebe sherebe kanta. Reka soto moshe yebe kanta. We are praying. We are trusting God. Yahweh. 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 Zoro bozata. Yababa bazete kerebe korobo. Yababa sete. Yababa bazete. We bless you, Jesus. Let it rain. Maserebe kanta babo babo. Maserebe sete. Fiona, it is your time. Fiona, receive. Receive. Madaba baba. Melody, receive. 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 Korobo saya baba. Henry, receive. Masheke rebe gara baba. Oh! 
writing my name in the book of life. Lord Jesus, thank you for the grace and the favor I have. Thank you for sustaining my life. Thank you for the breath of life given to me for free. If I am still today alive, is because of your grace and because of your purpose. You brought me this far. You will not leave me. Lord Jesus, I receive your word in my life. Your word that says what is ahead of me is greater than what is behind me. I am moving forward, not backward. I will go from glory to glory in Jesus' name. So today, I take authority against every work of evil released against my life. Whatever the enemy has done, to attack my miracle. To attack my blessing. To attack my health. To stop my progress. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Every evil work. Of the enemy. Designed to cause me pain. Designed to keep me in tears. I call on fire. May the fire of God. Consume it. Now. In Jesus name. Whatever planned. By the enemy against my well being. Is destroyed now in Jesus name. Whatever planned by the enemy. Against my well-being is destroyed in Jesus' name. I decree I belong to Jesus. No devil has right over me. I stand today. 
I speak against every evil altar. Altar of witchcraft. Altar of voodoo powers. Altar of the wickedness of man. Erected against me. Every evil altar. Claiming my name. Claiming my prosperity. Claiming my well-being. May the fire of God destroy it in the name of Jesus. May the fire of God destroy it in the name of Jesus. I disassociate myself from every evil covenant, family covenant made that is causing me pain. I disassociate myself from every covenant that is not aligned with the will of God. I decree, I declare, I belong to Jesus. My soul belongs to Jesus. My spirit belongs to Jesus. My body belongs to Jesus. My life belongs to Jesus. My family belongs to Jesus. My tomorrow belongs to Jesus. To him alone I give the glory. To him alone I give the praise. Say, oh Lord, help me follow you. Help me serve you. I feel that somebody must commit in serving God. With everything that has happened, the enemy brought a form of coldness in your faith. God wants you activated because that is the covenant you have with him. You got to serve God. So right now, wherever you are, close your eyes, lift your hand. I want you to recommit yourself to God. Every one of us personally say, Lord, I recommit myself. I want to serve you. Help me, Lord. Lord, where I became lazy, please give me the strength. I want to carry on. Lord, forgive me for every time I neglected your work. Forgive me for every time I did not do my part. Lord, I don't want to be complacent. Lord, I don't want to sit back. Oh God, please help me arise. Please help me serve you. Please help me uh, share the gospel. Oh Lord, I am born for this. I am born for this. This is my covenant with you. This is my vow to you. That I will serve you for the rest of my life. Lord, I am like Joshua would say, for me and my house. We will serve the Lord. My God, please help me. Ramama Soto, Spirit of God, rekindle the flames of fire in me to serve God. The desire to push for the kingdom of God. The desire to go after my disciples, to run my own cells, to outreach, to win souls, to come highly in the house of God, to assist where I can assist. Oh God, Give me the desire again to finance the kingdom from where I am. My resources are yours. With my money, I will serve you, O oh God. With whatever you put in my hand, I will put, O oh Lord, for the advancement of your kingdom. Commit yourself again. Speak to God. This is a personal commitment. By your vow, you live. By your altar, you live. Lekato make rebe gondo. Zekete reko shokota rebe kanta. Le mazokoto baba baba shete. Mate rekete ke rebe goboshia. La maze kata rababa seya. Lord, I will serve you for the rest of my life. I will serve you. I will seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And the rest shall be added down to me. You are my priority, O oh God. You are my first, O oh Lord. Lesa Makete. My eyes are on you. My Jesus, my Lord, my Savior. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Lift your hand again. Now I bless you as priest over you. I decree and I declare the prophetic word released over you is established in Jesus' name. I speak health. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus name. Be healed in Jesus name. 
I speak good health in Jesus' name. You are receiving a testimony, a testimony that will change your life and that will build others in faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is meeting you at the point of your need and beyond. I bless you. I bless your life. I bless your work. I bless everything you find to do. I decree made prosper. You will go higher. You will go places. Your home is being restored by the power of God. It is well with you. You will see your God in his glory and power. You will have from him big things because he's a big God. Beat the day at night. The hand of God is still on you. I bless you. I say I bless you. You are blessed. You are not cursed. They come against you by one way. They will fall before you. No matter what the enemy will do. I declare over you. You will keep on going higher and higher. Hallelujah ministries. You will keep on going higher and higher. You will keep on going higher and higher. In Jesus name. You are in the covenant of glory. You are in a covenant of speed and acceleration. You are in a covenant of increase and multiplication. You are in a covenant of a divine protection. You are in a covenant of good health. It is well with you. It is well with you. I say it is well with you. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you. We wave to you, O oh God. We wave because you are God. Be thou glorified, O oh God. La ba 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 soto. Oh yes, Lord. Ba 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 soto. Jesus. Masere bebe. Oh yes. Oh yes. We bow before you. We glorify your holy name. shared with us may it be sealed in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ Amen Hallelujah somebody wave to Jesus Christ God bless you God bless you God bless you Shalom 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 remember we have module 3 coming up please go to www.hallelujahministries register you gotta be part of it. I thank God for those who already are part of it. Please register on the 31st, Sunday, the 31st, big Sunday, we will have graduation on site and online. It will be in Paris. It will be glorious. Also remember, the dome is really a few days, a week, and so uh, uh, to go. Please make sure that uh, if you're coming, you register we will have great moment. We will see the glory of God. Our God is big and is able to do big things. Big
big God, big things. This is what we wear. This is the expression of our faith. Big God, big things. So get ready, register www.alleluiaministries.com. Make sure that you coming, then you register. If you're not coming, it is not good to register. If you are registering, it's because you're coming. We need to know that that space is booked. You know, uh, gatherings are very strict, especially in uh, uh, places like uh, Paris. So if you are coming, we need to announce that you're coming. We need to expect you. Please do that. It will be to the glory of God. I am looking forward to spend time on the IVP. IVP, it's a closed time where those who came will be with me. We'll spend a full day together, Friday together. First, we'll be together on uh, uh, the Big God Be Things at the Dome. And the day after, we'll be together full day. We'll eat together. We'll every day, t- you know, everything together. We'll pray. We will share the word of God. I will have time to minister specifically to each one of you. That will be Friday and Saturday. Sunday will have our Sunday service in AMI Paris. It will be glorious. And that Sunday, meaning Sunday the 31st, we will have the graduation. We'll come with our gowns and so forth. Those who will be on site, you will not be present on site and you graduate we will also have you included. You know, your graduation will be from home, but it will be as glorious as uh, of those who will be on site. Until I see you on the 28th, I want you to know I love you dearly. I sincerely do. I really, really do. And I pray for you every day. All this time, sons and daughters of Mine will be here ministering and I want you to be here praying and seeing the glory of God together. We take over by fire, by force until Jesus return. Shalom to you. blessed by this video be sure to subscribe to our channel you can catch pastor of how on ami tv on the public bouquet or on our live stream on amitv.com you can follow pastor of how on all social media platforms at of